Hello, my name is Anand Bin, and today I would like to implement a quark who's backend and connected with frontend, web standards frontend. So let's start with the backend. So I would like to uh, to start the project with uh, the Quarkus uh, create Maven plugin or Quarkus plugin and call that backend. This is the version, yes, and it looks good. So this is my backend. And what I would like to do is to start the project or Quarkus backend in dev mode. So now it should run. Wait a second, now it started perfectly. So now, uh, at the same time, I would like to implement um, a front end. And the front end, I will call it just front end. And here it is. So it's my front end project. And of course, I would like to access the Quarkus. So now let's try that. Um, there's an uh, JS file which is going to be loaded in the uh, with the script tag. So this is the. Uh, um, JS file, so let's implement call Quarkus, a function, and this function is going to be async without any parameters, and I would uh, like to use the uh, fetch, and I will need a response from fetch, and um, the sample, Quarkus sample exposes and REST endpoint with uh, localhost 8080, with the path hello. And then it is just a text. So let's call that message. And I would like to use it as a text. And then just try to output it in the console. And uh, let's do message from Quarkus. Now, if I will call the method or the function, and go to the browser console, we will see that we get an error because this is uh, we get the problem with the course policy. Why that? Uh, we are running here on port 3000. This is the default port, port from browser sync, and we tr try to access localhost 8080 from Quarkus, and Quarkus didn't expose a course yet. So thankfully, uh, Quarkus comes with undertow, and you can configure Quarkus to use uh, course filters, and what you only have to do is to set a single uh, property uh, Quarkus HTTP course equals true. So um, let's try to do that. So I would like to switch to Quarkus again, open the backend in the editor, and what I will have to do is to um, I will have to edit the application properties. So set uh, cor activate course. And by the way, this is the endpoint we are calling. So if you will say hello to uh, should work as well. So now back to the browser, back to the browser. And now if I reload it, you see hello to from Quarkus. So it works. So uh, what's nice with Quarkus, it comes with built in course capability. You don't have to install any JAXRS filters or several filters. It comes with support out of the box with course support after the box, which is much makes it really interesting to implement full stack um, SPA uh, single page applications or um, PWAs, progressive web apps. So thank you for watching. See you at AHX and bye.